Hey everyone, welcome back to the next video in data series or to be specific Azure Synapse series. So in previous uh, few videos, we tried to understand uh, data warehousing and then ELT versus ETL process. And in this video, we are trying to understand what exactly is Azure Synapse? Well, Azure already provided Azure Data Warehouse, then what is Synapse? So in order to understand Synapse perfectly well, uh, let me try sharing my screen. We'll try to go ahead with the modern data warehousing architecture, and then we'll see where the Synapse fits. All right, let me, let me do this. So uh, I hope you can see my screen now. I have created uh, uh, modern data warehouse architecture that we have already covered in the previous video. But here we, we created this just to understand uh, the Azure Snaps and you'll know very soon. So sources, uh, there could be various sources from where the data is ingested with the help of data factory to the data lake. This is what we understood already. And what could be the sources? It could be structured data, it could be unstructured data, it could be semi-structured data, it could be any kind of data coming from uh, any, for example, like CRM or any SaaS application or IoT devices or business applications or log files or anything. With the help of integration service that Azure provides known as Data Factory, we can move or ingest the data to the data lake. Data Lake is an hierarchical uh, data store which has immense scalability and uh, we, can, we can dump any kind of data in the Data Lake. But we need to make sure when we are uh, creating the data warehousing architecture for the analysis purpose, we should be aware our Data Lake should not convert into data dump. So we need to be wise while working with it, okay? So all the data will come to the data lake and then uh, this, uh, we do have Azure Databricks and other service. With the help of Databricks, we can run scripts and uh, process the data in nutshell, where we can say we can clean the data, or merge the data, but eventually this is the processing of the data. And this process data, we can create modules in the Azure Data Warehouse or we can not only modules but also because azure data warehouse has mpp architecture so it could be used to run enormous uh, queries or for the analysis purpose and finally we could have power bi for the visualization okay we can say uh, one more or visualization for the business of the data where we're getting insights. So this is the modern architecture and these, these all, these all data factory, right? And data break and data lake and data warehouse. These all services are independent services provided by the Azure, but you know, as these are the different services that we create. So sometimes there could be a problem of connectivity, there could be a problem of uh, networking, things like that. So what Azure did, Azure created the unified uh, uh, service known as uh, Azure Synapse, which covers all these services. So you can create all these services from a unified pane known as Azure Synapse. So Azure Synapse uh, has a, a workspace. When we create Azure Synapse, we create workspace. And from there, you can create any of the service which is required. All right, so this is what the Azure Synapse is. So uh, basically, Microsoft combined all of these different services into one service, which is called Azure Synapse. Okay, but it doesn't mean uh, you have to go through Synapse to use any of these services. You can still go ahead and uh, create Azure Data Warehouse, which, which is a uh, legacy service now, but it is available in Azure as a dedicated SQL pools. 
you can also create synapse and create dedicated pools from inside the synapse as well. So all the services are still available outside uh, 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 this synapse, but uh, synapse is the way that, uh, that Azure recommends. If you have to use more than one service, always go with the Azure synapse. Let me show you with the Azure portal as well. Okay, if I come here, you see in the man inside the Azure portal, if I write here, daddy, dedicated, not daddy. <laughs> so you can say formally SQL data warehouse. So it's still available. You can click here and you can create your Azure SQL data warehouse. And if you type uh, synapse, you can, create, you can create Azure synapse from here as well. So, yeah, this is what the Azure Synapse is. Uh, it's nothing, it's just the uh, single pane for or integrated all those services which were the part of the data uh, warehousing or the modern data warehousing uh, into a single pane so that it would be easy for designing your data pipeline. So that's what the Synapse is. And thank you for watching. Let's meet in another video where we'll try to get into a little more deep. Thank you. Bye-bye.